गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द जॉइंट्स अ जॉइंट इज अ प्लेस वेयर टू बोन्स मीट एंड आर हेल्ड टूगेदर बाई अ स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड फ्लेक्सीबल टिश्यूज कॉल द लिगमेंट ओके नाउ टूडे वी विल स्टडी ऑल अबाउट द जॉइंट्स मोस्टली द जॉइंट्स आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स मोवेबल जॉइंट एंड इमोवेबल जॉइंट्स मोस्टली दे आर मोवेबल immobile joint is the only in the skull region where eight bones are fixed they cannot be moved they are fixed like a jigsaw puzzle they cannot be moved that is only a immobile joints in the skull region rest all are mobile joint today we we are we will study about the four types of mobile joints first one ball and socket joint A ball and socket joints allow maximum movement in all direction. See, okay. Now, uh, hip and the shoulder joints are ball and socket joints. The upper end of the humerus and the femur are cup shaped. Are in the shape of a cup. Upper end of the Uh, humerus that is in the hand upper end of the humerus this upper end of the humerus and the uh, upper end of the femur is uh, like a ball huh? it's like a ball here also ball like which will fit into a shoulder girdle and a hip girdle which is a cup like humerus are round like a ball which fits into a socket okay socket of a hip and shoulder girdle and because of that there is a movement in all the direction okay so this is a ball and socket arrangements okay and because of this unique arrangement they are called ball and socket joints okay so ball and socket joints are found in the hip and shoulder the upper end of the humerus and upper end of the femur are like a ball which will fit into a hip girdle uh, and a um, shoulder girdle which is like a cup a socket okay and that is why because of this unique arrangement they are called ball and socket joint and they allow the movement in all next is the pivot joint the pivot joint exists between the spine and the skull okay the first two vertebrae of spine are joined to the skull by a pivot joint first two vertebrae of the spine the vertebral column the backbone are joined to the skull by a pivot joint here Here in it, a conical here, a conical section of a bone is fitted into a vertebrae, which is having a hole-like structure. Vertebrae, which is having a hole-like structure. So this uh, conical uh, section of a bone here in the skull fits into a another bone. Okay, mm? and because of this. it allow the pivot joint allow the movement of the head uh, backward downward and sideward that is upward downward and sideward it allow the movement of the head upward downward and sideward so a pivot joint allow the movement of the head upward downward and sideward okay so uh the skull here yeah, the skull uh, pivot joint is found in the skull well, uh, between the spine and the skull region the first two vertebrae of the spine are joined to the skull by a pivot joint pivot joint is nothing but a mm, uh, a conical section of a bone here which fits into a vertebrae which is having a hole okay so 
and because of this arrangement the head can move upward downward and sideward hinge joint have you noticed to tell her that the door opens only in one direction here hinge joint is also is a joint which moves along the movement in only one direction for example the joints which are present in fingers elbow knee and toes are hinge joints okay the joints which are in fingers elbow knee and toes are hinge have hinge joint like they have only one side movement they show only one side movement in one direction only they can move okay now this in hinge joint one bone has a con convex end the other bone has concave end the convex ended bone fixes into a convex concave ended bone and because of this arrangement there is a movement in one direction. hinge joint in hinge joint you can see the movement in one direction only that is our fingers elbow knee and toes has hinge joint okay which is having concave one bone which is in a shape of a concave other bone which is in a shape of a convex and they fix because of this they are able to move the mm, they move our hand because of this joint we are able to move our hand only in one direction you gliding joints are bending twisting and turning of the turning of the bones okay these kind of joints are found in wrist ankle and between the adjoining vertebrae okay the gliding joints allow the spine to be flexible because of the gliding joint the the spine are the vertebrae are the gliding zor se bolo the gliding joint the gliding joint allow bending twisting and turning okay these kind of joints are found in ankle and wrist and in between the adjoining vertebrae the gliding joints allow the spine to be flexible okay because uh, because of the gliding joint the spine is able to move the upper part of the body forward backward and sideward had the spine made up of only one single bone we would not have been able to move our upper part of the body okay because of the presence of gliding joint in the vertebrae and in the, in the ankle and in the wrist we are able to turn twist and uh, the movement we can uh, bend twist and turn our uh, wrist ankle and our spine